It is always very difficult to compare different methods of treatment because the patients are different, the circumstances are different, the clinicians are different, and therefore, by and large, there are very few really convincing comparisons of different types of treatment. And this is particularly true of orthodontic treatment um, and orthotropic treatment because they are so different. Orthodontic is essentially aligning the teeth. Orthotropic is essentially trying to prevent the teeth from becoming crooked in the first place. So um, I had some difficulty in persuading the orthodontist to let me compare any form of treatment. And so um, I was unable to get some orthodontists to give me cases to compare. However, there is a journal published in America called the Journal of Clinical Orthodontics. And they publish regularly um, really good orthodontic results um, treated by the best clinicians who were choosing their own results. And naturally, they would all choose their best results. And um, it occurred to me that if we could compare best results, that would be a fair way, shall we say, a level playing field. Because obviously, regardless of how successful a treatment is, you can measure its potential just by looking at the very best results it can achieve. So I uh, asked the permission of this journal to um, uh, use some of their cases for comparison, and I asked them to compare that all the cases um, were excellent. And um, uh, they agreed. <clears throat> and so I then selected on special parameters. I would only choose cases where there was a side picture of the face before treatment and after treatment. I also had either a side or a front view of the teeth before treatment and after treatment. I then selected 16 of my own cases cases that I thought had gone quite well, and I compared them with 16 that I took from the journal. And I used the same four shots, one of the face before and after treatment, one of the teeth before and after treatment. I pasted them all in a book where each page contained four cases, and I then showed them to a panel of judges. Now, it's quite difficult when you want to compare facial appearance along with how straight the teeth are. But um, uh, to overcome the difficulty, I chose um, six lay judges, I chose six dentists as judges, and six orthodontists as judges. Clearly, their views would differ slightly, but I gave each of them a copy of the book for the really simple matter of placing each of the faces in rank order, placing the best results um, at the top and going down until they reach the worst. There were 16 of each type, making 32 cases in all. Now, <clears throat> I genuinely didn't know how well orthodontics would compare with orthotropics. Um, I hoped that orthotropics would be better, but I was really surprised with the result because both the lay people and the dentists considered that the orthotropic results were highly significantly better than the orthodontic result. Now, this is quite a rare finding to get something that is highly significant. It means there can be no reasonable doubt about it. They are much better. Um, the orthodontists only found the uh, orthotropic results significantly better than the orthodontic results. But uh, I think you can imagine that is fair. Remember that none of these judges knew how the cases had been treated. They just could see the results. And um, it really surprised me 
that the orthotropic results were so much popular. Um, after trying, I think it was six different American and um, English journals, all of whom have said, no, we won't publish it. That they were all orthodontic journals, I should add, which could explain it. Eventually, I found a German journal, which was an orthopedic journal, which is halfway between dentistry and um, uh, orthodontics. And they agreed to publish it. Now, that paper has hardly ever been referred to by orthodontists anywhere. And yet, I think, to my mind, it proves quite definitely that orthotropic results are highly significantly better than orthodontic results. And this should be known, I believe, by all the dental schools and by as many of the public as couldn't possibly be told.